friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today I would like to create a short video about Fronius Prima uh, review. That's the Australian version of Inverter. From what I see and hear uh, on the forums, there are different configurations inside. And I did not buy it personally, I bought it as part of the solar system. So our solar panels are configured as, I think, 22 panels of uh, 200 um, watts. And uh, basically they produce 6.6 .6 kilowatts altogether. Um, but uh, we had to split them. So one side facing east, one side facing north, and inverter can kind of combine it together. So first thing that I did not like about inverter, and I'm not sure whether it's a um, common theme or is it just with Fronius, we could fit 20 panels facing north and two panels facing east, and allegedly inverter would not be able to handle it or it's illegal in Australia, I'm not sure, but uh, installers refuse to put majority panels north. Basically, uh, what I believe it's not producing as much electricity because of that but in nutshell it's not a big deal uh, in winter we get more uh, um, sun on the east on, on, on the summer we're losing that a little bit to the west side but all in all it's not big uh, loss still disappointing because initially installers say that they could fit all uh, 22 panels I think or 20 panels I don't remember what's the wattage of the panels so I'm just throwing numbers so I believe all panels uh, they say they could uh, put on the north and then I said no we cannot do all of them and they couldn't split the way they were wanted but this video is about inverter so I'm not sure whether it's inverter related split panel or is it a rule but that's the thing the second thing what I did not like about inverter is um, it's very noisy so today it's a very cloudy day and it's generating only half of its capacity which is um 1800 approximately now it's a bit cloudy and you can clearly see or hear uh, how much uh, noise it emits and now it's not intrusive but in the middle of the summer when it's getting too hot um, there's some sort of uh, noise and vibrations coming from a fan i do believe um, company as reputable as the Fronius could invest in better fans, better quality fans, or uh, create more passive um, coolant system. Uh, even though it's in the garage, it's annoying. I can, I can clearly hear that noise two or two doors down. Another thing that I didn't like initially about inverter is its configuration with solar meter. Uh, I quickly show solar meter, it's outside. Um, it's installed in a in an electricity box so there's a solar meter here and it basically allows you to uh, see power generation on the net um, I don't use it at all because we've got Tesla battery please check down below all my Tesla battery videos if you wish to but um, from this inverter was good idea until I saw what um, Tesla um, monitoring system capable of and Fronius is not really near enough and it's kind of development stagnated for Fronius they use the same interface for last I think five to seven years of the application and same kind of inverters I think they go on like safe path the, the, the device works well it's reliable and they're not really innovating as much um, However, let's talk about positive side of the Fronius. They were probably the first inverter in Australia to give you 10 years warranty. There's a funny warranty, there's a five years, they will come to you and, and fix it. And, and, and after five years, I think you need to send it away or something like that. But in a nutshell, they were one of the first companies in Australia to give 10 years warranty, which is, you know what, it is peace of mind. I had, um, my previous inverter was sharp and allegedly it was, um, bad one altogether but you know it failed after a year and failed after three years so i've got a really a uh, sensitivity to warranty with inverters this inverter is here for two years um besides noise 
um, I don't I don't think it's failing or anything it's much better quality and everything the second disappointment sorry the second yeah the that's the good news the disappointment was that I was talking about that the cable here when first time uh, installers connected inverter to the uh, system the software version or bias version that inverter came with would not recognize meter and installer could not figure it out in my books you know if you charge that much money a new reputable brand you will make sure that you supply all latest versions to your installers and also that version is compatible with all devices of same brand that you supply so um, the installer just gave up and quit and I manually updated the um, software version and then it started working so it was disappointment but you know all in all it's reliable workhorse noisy but reliable I don't do much with it because most of my monitoring and most of my um, uh, interaction with my solar systems come from Tesla Tesla doing a really good job for you to um, supervise your system and even though they're not really integrated one with another I've got enough information from Tesla not to actually work with um, Fronius the only thing I do on Fronius uh, um, metering system is you can see installed parts inside inverter and you can do update online so I check once a month if updates are available and I do update from website and word of warning there the update progress is extremely slow so uh, bear in mind if you do update I suggest you to do updates when inverter is not functional because you will lose uh, um, inversion uh, function of the inverter for a while so when sun goes down and if you see there's update do your updates uh, when inverter is mostly offline and it takes good probably 20 to 30 minutes to do every single update um, so basically there's a two components that usually do update this inverter and so and uh, I think they call um, data common data meter it's that uh, Wi-Fi card that is talking to uh, power meter as well or it's power meter itself I'm not sure what's getting updated but there's a two lines in online updating system so here you are um, the inverter is quite all right even though my uh, solar system is 6.6 uh, .6 kilowatt uh, the legal requirement is to limit inversion to 5 kilowatt and it peaks at 5 and stays at 5 during the summer when it's quite sunny or when, when panels working in full um, there's not much to say um, it's there it's working it's never failed on me so I'm not sure look from my neighbor has um, uh, another inverter I think it's Huawei or Huawei whatever people call it it's the passive coolant totally silent does the job so I'm not really sure whether I will give five or four or even three stars to Fronius uh, because the other inverters do job just do it silently from management or configuration management point it's a little bit outdated as well but you know from the reliability from appliance perspective I think it does a good job and reputable company so maybe uh, in my review I'll give it four stars and if you'd like to know uh, anything else about this inverter please let me know in the comments down below or um, and I will create another video about it um, I think it's enough for now until next time uh, Greg for Brisbane until next time bye